Hello everyone, it's me Candice Michelle. Welcome to my Black Pinups YouTube channel. So I know this looks crazy, the background, but I changed my office and I got a doggy. Hey, my gardener. But um, I am looking to move in the following months so I can have a bigger space and more professional setting. So today, this is a Did You Know series and we're talking about the first Black Hollywood actress by the name of Evelyn Prayer. I wrote about her in my first issue with the gorgeous Angelique Noir who also signed it for me. Thank you, Angelique. And um, I found out about Evelyn Prayer when I typed in, who's the first black actress in Hollywood? <laughs> um, I talked a little bit about her and the, I think it was the previous video when I was talking about Oscar Macho. He was the first black Hollywood director. So, um, I am going to be telling you about the lovely Evelyn Prayer. She was in a lot of his movies. And um, just to show you, this is what I did in my uh, first issue. This is how it looks. So, if you want to hear more about Evelyn, stay tuned and let's get into it. When one hears the name Evelyn Prayer, it doesn't ring a bell. Unless you're a film historian on all things movies, Evelyn Prayer unfortunately is unknown. What makes her special for those who haven't heard of her? She was the first African American silent film star and blues singer from the 1910s until the early 1930s. In her time, to the black community, she was known as the first lady of screen. She was born Evelyn Jarvis on July 16, 1896 in Vicksburg, Mississippi, the oldest of three children. After her father's early death, her family moved to Chicago, where her career in vaudeville and minstrel shows started. She soon changed her surname to Prayer. Her first film role would be in film director Oscar Macho's The Homesteader in 1919. This would be the start of a long partnership between actress and director. Macho, dubbed as the father of Afro-American cinema, would continue to cast Evelyn in many of his films throughout the 1920s. He once said of her, Miss Prayer could play any role assigned her and always did so cheerfully and without argument. Macho set up a tour of personal appearances to promote Prayer as his leading lady. In 1920, she would star in her second film role with Macho, Within Our Gates, and The Brute. That same year, she would join the Lafayette Players in Chicago. The Players was a theatrical stock company that was founded in 1915 by pioneer sage and film actress Anita Bush, also known as the little mother of black drama. It was here that Prier would meet fellow Lafayette player and her future husband, Edward Thompson. In between film appearances, Prier would star in many Lafayette productions, Wilde's Salomone, which was widely lauded by critics. In 1923, she would play in the Ethiopian Art the Theater's production of The Chip Woman's Fortune by Willis Richardson. This would be the first play to be produced by an African-American playwright that would be on Broadway in New York City. Evelyn would appear in three Oscar Macho films from 1921 to 1924. Films such as The Gunsellist Mystery, 1921, Deceit, in 1923, and Birthright, in 1924. In the year that Birthright was released, she married Edward Thompson. She would later star in Within the Law, The Yellow Ticket, The Cat and the Canary, and Anna Christie. In 1925 and 1926, she would appear in The Devil's Disciple, the Conjure Woman, and The Spider's Web. In 1926, she would have a successful stint on Broadway in David Belsico's production, Lulu Bell. Prayer would win acclaim as Sadie Thompson in Somerset McGomham's Reign in 1928. A woman of many talents, she did some musical comedy, cabaret, and also sang backing vocals for Duke Ellington and Red Nichols. Prayer would continue to work in film despite having unaccredited roles at Paramount Studios. While working at Al Christie Studios, she did three comedy shorts, The Framing of the Shrew, The Melancholy Dame, and Oft in the Silly Night in 1928. 
Although she was contracted for five movies, Prayer ended her contract after refusing to wear blackface makeup. With her mixed race of African and European ancestry, Hollywood didn't know what to do with her. She didn't pass for white like some advised her to do to get more roles, and she wasn't dark enough to play African-American roles. This would be the reason why she would act in more Broadway plays as opposed to Hollywood roles. She would play in three more movies, Georgia Rose in 1930, her first talkie debut, Ladies of the Big House opposite actress Sylvia Sidney, and her final role starring Cary Graham and Marlene Dietrich, Blonde Venus, where she had a minor role as a prostitute. Hollywood was not kind to the women of color, especially for Evelyn. She would leave Hollywood and become a mother in April 1932. She gave birth to her only child, a daughter named Eddie Eddie Eve Thompson. She would develop post-childbirth complications and die of double pneumonia in November 1932. It is rumored her last words were, Where's my baby? After her death, her husband, Edward Thompson, would continue to act in race films throughout the 1930s and 1940s until his death in 1960. Their only daughter, Etta Eve, would join the Sisters of St. Francis of Odenburg, Indiana, in 1952. From 1982 to 2005, she was an associate professor at Fordham University in African American Cinema. She currently resides in New York. Unfortunately, due to the early times of cinema and negligence, the only three movies of Evelyn Prayer's work has survived. Within Our Gates, which can be found online, Birmingham Breakdown, which features three comedy shorts she starred in at Al Christie Studios in VHS format, and Blonde Venus. Unfortunately, only a few recordings survived her short music career. Although her life was cut short, she was known in her time as the race premier dramatic actress. So that was the video on Evelyn Prayer's life, and I hope you liked it. Um, I will continue to do more Did You Know, so stay tuned for that. So like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also follow me on Instagram at Black Pinups Magazine and on Facebook at Black Pinups. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.